Let's talk about one of the more devastating injuries that can happen in the sport of football, and those are catastrophic cervical spine injuries. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Now that's a mouthful, catastrophic cervical spine injuries. Essentially, these are neck injuries where athletes are paralyzed, spinal cord injuries. Now, you can have milder forms of that, but these are what we're talking about here, very, very devastating injuries. There was one, I want to say 2011 at Rutgers, Eric Legrand, who was paralyzed after an injury. It actually happens in high school and college football. The uh, chances of it, the rates are actually higher in college football, but the absolute numbers of kids that suffer these injuries each year in football is higher in high school, but there's just more people that play high school football. Now these were really common in the 1970s, uh, but because of some changes that we're going to talk about, we've brought those numbers down, but it still happens to about six athletes a year in high school and college football. Now, these almost always occur from basically what we call spear tackling. And that's why it was really common in the 1970s as uh, basically the helmets got more protective and the face masks were there. Basically, players felt invincible, so they started leading with the head and the crown of their helmet to hit opponents. And that's still how the mechanism can happen, even if you're not trying to do it. But what basically happens is, you know, when you're leading with your head, with your head down, that puts your spine, your neck, the bones in your neck, basically stacked straight up and down, except, you know, maybe going this way. But it's instead of being concave, it's basically flat. And so the muscles of your neck can't uh, dissipate the forces from that direct blow. And so what happens is, is that then the discs give and the bones break and they shift out of place injuring the spinal cord. And that's why it is critically important that athletes don't lead with their head. That's where you hear the heads up, uh, you know, basically that whole mantra, you know, keeping your heads up, watch what you're doing. Maybe you tackle with your shoulder and not your helmet, uh, but you keep your head up so that you're not just basically colliding with an athlete on top of your head. And that, just that education, obviously we've had penalties for it. That's a, a penalty. It used to be just intentional spearing. Now in, any spearing at all um, is basically a penalty. But honestly, it can happen even if you're not trying to do it. You know, the player that you're trying to tackle moves and you change your position, you get sort of hesitant and, and things happen. We know that it happens. There was one of the more famous cases of that in college football that affected an athlete here in Charleston where I am uh, many years ago and we talk about that devastating injury uh, that ha him you know what happened to him and how he basically you know had surgery and the recovery and how he's still paralyzed today but a lot of good has come from that but if there's any take-home message here that I can share with you it's to make sure that your kids are tackling with the proper technique I talk about this a lot, and I talk about that injury to that Charleston athlete in my book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Changed Sports Forever. I think it's, it's, it's a scary, eye-opening uh, account of the injury, but somewhat of an inspirational message as well. But we talk a lot about the statistics of these catastrophic cervical spine injuries. We talk about who's at risk for it, what positions, all things like that. Obviously, what you know the recovery of that is, obviously how devastating these injuries are, and talk about ways to try to decrease this. So if you have kids that play football, I think that this book is something that you, and honestly, yes, maybe your kids should read. So below this video, there's a link to tghbook.com. TGH stands for That's Gotta Hurt. TGHbook.com where you'll find links to buy the book on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And if you order it before June 6th when it becomes available in bookstores, if you pre-order that before that date, you'll get an email confirmation from Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Take that order number, copy it, Come back to TGHbook.com, enter it into a special field, and you'll get all kinds of bonuses absolutely free. Ebooks on ways 
basically to avoid these same injuries yourself and stay healthy yourself. Ways to make sports safer for the next generation of athletes. Courses on uh, basically sports and exercise injuries so that you honestly can stay healthy, stay active, but stay out of the doctor's office and out of the operating room and perform your best. I think sports fans will find the book and this information, these courses entertaining. Kids that play sports or parents of kids that play sports and you know honestly if you just like to exercise or play sports yourself I think you'll find it very very helpful so get your copy of that's gotta hurt the injuries that change sports forever right now tghbook.com click the link you can get the book then bring that order number back and get your free bonuses I think you'll find it really helpful if you have friends whose kids play you know, youth football, high school football, this catastrophic cervical spine injury thing is really important. So please share this video with your friends that have kids that play football. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.